Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Globe or Not, the show where we question the globe and to see if it really stick to reality. Because as you know, we all have been through the education system where of course we live on a ball. But right now, there are so many lies that um, are around us that I say, hey, let's just throw all our assumption out there. And just for fun, just for fun, let's see if this one could also be a lie. So um, to really kind of grasp the idea, I went on and went over the internet and looked for a little 3D modeling to do some little tests, right? A little perception test to see um, how this plays out in 3D um, in 3D environment. So as you can see here, I have a sphere, big ball, which uh, could represent the Earth. And if you really zoom in and really try to make it as big as possible, so it could... Um, oh, I'm having a little issue here, but trying to get it as... Um, as big as possible on a model and put a little airplane in there because as I mentioned in prior episode I used to be a flight attendant and I want to, the first part is I want you to pay attention to one really important fact is right now we have the three axis as you can see here we have our uh, X Y and Z right there and at the bottom here on the, on the X here we have an infinite plane and as you can see no matter how high I go the infinite plane is always, always, always at eye level. It doesn't matter how high you go, and especially with this perspective here, we have infinite, uh, infinite view, right? We, there's no limit on our, uh, on our sight in a 3D modeling. There's no atmosphere. There's none of that stuff. So really, that's how an infinite plane works, is that no matter how high you go, it's always high level. So even if we play here with the little here, so this is going to be the, well, how we play it around it. So, so just for fun, let's go back to our little uh, plane around here. Let's try to find it back because I try to make it as little as possible in relation to the sphere. And of course, it's not to scale, but you know, if some of you are not happy, I'm going to make it twice as big just for fun or 10 times as big um, to, to just illustrate the point because it's always the same point. If you're above a sphere, okay, let's try to get as close as possible to that little plane. So if you're above a sphere, and let's say you take off right here, and you take off, and imagine this here is the horizon on the ball Earth. Let's forget about the infinite plane at the back. So you take off, take off, and look at what's happening to the horizon. It's falling. It's always falling. And as you go, all you can see is the, um, at the bottom you would see the, the ball horizon that would drop from your perspective. There would be no way that would be possible. Because as you know, when you go on a plane and you look out the window, and I know because I was a flight attendant, I did it every week, at least two or three times. I was going Montreal to Cancun, Cancun, Montreal. You take off, you look at the horizon, and it just follows your eye line. It always like this. And I just did um, Vancouver, Montreal, and I just paid really attention, and that was the case. It's always high level. Now, as I was at putting this little airplane here, guess what I did? Um, I went on to flight simulator and I was curious how did they do it you know if they, you have to do flight simulator how did they do it over the ocean well check this out we're on microsoft.com and let me read this here the RQD algorithm as published is really intended for flat earth bearing where the sea level elevation reference is assumed to be an infinite plane since flight simulator model the earth's curvature we have to modify the algorithm a bit the main object is that the unmodified RQD tend to emanate nearly all the mesh Virtus over large open expanses of ocean, which is interpreted as being completely flat. Now, if you were going to create a model of reality and you're doing around the ball, but it doesn't work over the ocean, you have to make it a plane. So, <laughs> um, I gotta tell you guys, this and, and gals, this doesn't make any sense. This is not a positive proof for the globe. So uh, as I was going around and looking at my uh, metal pad to see, okay, is that a proof for a globe or is it uh, not a proof for or against, or it's definitely a proof that it's not a ball. I got to tell you, this doesn't look good. No matter how you go around it, you can't ex explain why when you take off, the ball earth doesn't go down. And if you're not happy with this example, I'm going to make it 10 times as big. Okay, I'm going to do another one. If there's people in the comment who think that it's just because it's not big enough, I'm going to do it for you. I'll be happy to do it. And it's, I know the hurt is big, but it doesn't change the rules of perspective. So 
Um, I'm, as you can hear, I'm pretty excited about this. This, this is just, I can't believe I've never seen it before.